Hello and welcome back to a summer edition of We Go East. I'm Ashley. And my name's Theo. And today we're trying various ice creams, ice lollies and frozen goods from the convenience store. In Japan. In Japan! <laughs> <laughs> it is so hot today, it's like 31 degrees, so we really need this. Although, I don't think we need like 20 ice creams, which... 12. Well. We're going to be rating these ice creams and iced goods out of five stars. Five stars. So stick around and find out what crazy flavours we found. There were some crazy ones. Crazy! Crazy! Cheese! Let's get started. Bam! Okay, first up we have Coolish. Do you think it's cool? Coolish? Oh, very funny. A summer in Japan would not be a summer in Japan without Coolish. This is the absolute standard. This one in particular is the standard. The OG. It's about 100 yen. It's a bargain. It's just vanilla ice cream. And it's really like squeezy. Mm. It's bizarre. And the best thing about it is it comes with a lid. So if you don't finish it, which you do. Or you get on a bus or something. You just put the lid back on. I have chocolate Coolish and Ashley has vanilla. Mmm. Oh, it's nice. Mm. It's a bit icy. If you hold it long enough in your hand, it will melt quite mm. nicely into some like ice cream juice. Personally, Ooh. I rate Coolish a 5 out of 5 because it's so cheap, it's so iconic, and it's so cool. Mmm. Oh, that's really chocolatey. Did you not get it? I said it was 5 star. No, oh, I, was, I, was, I was busy. Fair enough though, I often get distracted by Coolish vanilla flavour. Um, numero uno ice cream in Japan. Which do you prefer? The OG, the vanilla. Would you buy it again? I would, I buy it, I buy it all the time. We buy it all the time. I'm gonna so. get it. Next, we have these icy balls. Okay. Icy balls. Icy balls, you. Okay, these are grapefruit flavoured. Icy balls. I've had the grape version, but I've never had grapefruit. You'll see what I mean. You've never had grapefruit. Flavoured balls. You sure? It's like this. Mm, it smells quite chemically. That's grapefruit for you. Bottoms out. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, oh, uh. Essentially what it is, is it has like a, like a sort of skin around it that breaks and it's very liquidy in the middle. It's like a sorbet. Ooh. I mean, that's the definition of melting your mouth. Yeah, really. <laughs> like the hard outer shell immediately melts and then it's like just your mouth full of... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I think maybe they were out of the freezer a bit too. What does it look like cut in half? Cut in half. So what would you rate it out of five? I'd give it a two. Maybe even a one. A 1 1.5. 1.5. I know people that really, really like this, but it's not for me either. It's kind of the wrong sort of sour and sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'd give it a two too, and I probably will not be buying that again. No, that was unpleasant. Yeah. Okay, next we have this thing. Now, this is obviously sweet potato, and this is sugar cane. So this is some sort of half and half ice cream from Okinawa. Ooh! You get the bowl, put it on our lap. But this bowl is huge. Right. Oh, it's like pink. Here we are, this is what it looks like. So the top part is the sweet potato ice cream. Well, mm. I don't want to say how it is. I don't want to taste the sweet potato. Is it sweet potato? It is sweet potato, I googled it. Benny oh, no. is... It's so sweet, it's so sick, and like, I really don't like sweet potato, it doesn't taste that much. It does a little bit, but it doesn't taste like loads like it. I'm gonna go for the bottom there. The sugar cane section. Mm. Oh, that's yummy. Yo, chuck it here, come on, come on. Give me the good. Wait. Some greedy bastard, come on. You need to hide. We have sort of light, like whatever colour that is, and then sort of pinky, so sweet potato and sugar cane. Is there, is there a noticeable difference in taste between the two sections? Oh yeah. Really? The sugar cane is really nice. It tastes kind of like caramel. Mmm. Tastes like a demerara. Oh damn. Mmm. I'll tell you what, this is a brilliant combination. I like sweet potato and this sugar cane is excellent. The sugar cane is really good. So, at five stars, Theo. Four stars. I would buy it again. It was really nice. I think it was a bit too sweet for me, so I'd probably give it like... A three. There's there's better ones. I'd buy that again. Okay, on to the next one. We have Pinot. No, it's this. It's not wine. It's this. This is Pinot. And they look like this sort of thing. They've sort of vanilla inside, chocolate on the outside. 
They come in these nice little boxes. So yeah, I like this. It looks like sort of Malteser box or something. Yeah, we'll do some unboxing. Ready this for my unboxing? Prime YouTube content. Ready? Four. Pinot ASMR. Oh, it comes... What is this little, like... No, no, to scoop them out. To scoop them? Yes, yeah, so you don't have to get it on your fingers. I got it on, on, the, on the shovel. I'm going to try one. Mm. Oh! Yeah, Pinot's, Pinot's the bomb. Mmm. Very soft. Mm. This is yummy. I mean, it's so small though. I like this little shovel though. Yeah, what would you rate it? A four. Another four for me. Okay, next up is a very Japanese flavour. This is one I'm not too excited about eating. It's one of those things where, you know, there's beans in places there shouldn't be beans. AKA in an ice cream. This is red bean ice cream. Yeah, Anko, ice Anko beans are red beans. You know, we couldn't find any baked bean ice creams, sadly, so we've gone Ooh, for the. Oh, it's a bit melty. Oh. I'm gonna have to get the bowl back. Looks like this. Very. It looks like it's got raisins in it. They're beans. Red beans are the curse of my life in Japan because before I could read Japanese, I used to buy these products that look like all nice and chocolate in the middle. It's always red bean, bean paste. Oh. Come on, get some beans. You didn't have a single bean. I got beans. You didn't get beans. I've got four beans. Rubbish, you got no beans. You've got no beans. What are you like, Sam? It's, loads, it's, it's like a round full of beans. You're gonna get beans. Oh. Oh. Some people really like red bean paste. Personally, I'm not a fan. And the ice cream is an ice cream in this, is it? It's like milk. It's like a milk ice lolly. Oh, and the bean skin. Yeah, the bean skin, like, I've still got bean skin in my mouth. So what would you rate that? Uh, it's a one. Yeah. It's a one. For me too. It's a one. I don't like beans in my ice cream. Yeah, I wouldn't buy that again. There's no way I'm buying no. it again. No way. No. Okay, moving on. We have Blue Samurai. Blue Samurai. Apparently these are vegan. That's what I heard a while ago. On the grapevine. On the grapevine. Through the grapevine. Oh, it's, it's quite melted. It's a little bit. Uh, oh, it's a bit. Oh, it's really soft. Oh. Oh God, no. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna have to hold. Oh God. Oh, oh Christ. <laughs> oh Jesus. I'm gonna have to put it in my hand. It's like so melted. Look at it. Yummy. So here, look. I'm holding the blue samurai. The the stick has like come out. It's like slushy now. Nice spoonful of blue samurai. Hold it. Let me let me spoon spoon the samurai. It's quite fragrant. Oh, brain freeze. Yeah, I always get brain freeze. Oh, it tastes way. like bubble gum. Yeah, it does. Ice cream. It does taste like bubble gum. That's all right. Oh, there's little crunchy bits. I wonder what the flavour is meant to be. Soda. Soda. Soda flavour. I think I prefer it like this, like a slushy and then um... <laughs> okay, Ash, what would you rate this out of five stars? I'd probably give it a two or three. I mean, I don't really like bubblegum flavour and there's there's better, you know, there's better. It's neither here nor there. It's quite nice. It's not quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, up next we have Yukimi Daifuku. We're going more traditional Japanese here. Well, I've never had this before. Neither have I. Daifuku is like... Mochi. No, I can't do it. <laughs> the thing about mochi is it's really chewy. Look. Cement. So like, this is the mochi sort of outer. Look at that. Boing, boing, boing. Inside it is ice cream. Oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's very strange. It feels bizarre to be eating sort of like wrapped ice cream in like sticky, boingy stuff, but it's quite refreshing. There's something for me about this sort of like squishy texture, not just of mochi, of, of like jelly, anything like that sort of sticky texture, I just don't like it that much. What would you rate this? I would rate it like a three. Yeah, like, I'd rate I think it's actually, three, three. And I'd like it as like a dessert after a meal, then then it would be good for me. It's too much to eat one go. Yeah, it's yeah. too much to eat one go. Okay, I'm quite excited about the next one because I have no idea what it is. I just picked it up because I thought it was quite comical. I mean, look at it. It's really long. It's huge. Like, what is this? Ice candy, it Ooh. says. I feel like it's going to be milk flavour. I don't know why, I just kind of feel like... Wait, oh, how are you going to open it? Natsukashi. It's, it's supposed to be reminiscent of a 
of like of childhood. A, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is it so long? <laughs> is it one of these milk ones? Well, let's try it. Can you buy ice cream? Are you no, one of those people? That's what I just did, but this is too um, Frozen. icy. Yeah. This is milk flavored. You can have some. Go for a big bite. Go for a chomp. Oh! <laughs> I feel like you're like this. Mm, I do. This is exactly exactly like those ones you have in England. The, the, the mini ones. Mini milk. It's got mini milk. Mini milks. That's it. It's exactly. It's just a big mini milk. Huge. It's a, it's <laughs> it's a, a huge mini milk. It's a not so mini milk. It's a big milk. <laughs> Personally, I'd give that like a two point five. Four from me because mini milks are my you know, my jam. <laughs> I'm excited for this next one because I think it's a sorbet. I saw someone post this on Instagram saying to like go get it, so I'm excited. It's in a little tub, it's lemon flavoured. I'm excited. Oh! oh. It has a real life like frozen, uh, frozen lemon in it. A whole lemon. <laughs> oh, it's quite melted. That's a sorbet. There's a theme. Mmm. It's nice. It's very um, lemony, but sweet. It's not like bitter. If mm. anything, I think it's slightly too sweet. Oh, it tastes like lemon drizzle cake, like the the drizzle. I also think like it's not really a sorbet because it's very icy. It's like a slushy. Yeah, it's like a slushy actually. I'd definitely buy this again. What would you rate it? Probably a four. Four out of five. Four. This is this is right up my street. Ta-da! We've made it to the final two. And these two are little pots of stuff. Mine says, oh baby, rock choco. Mine says, shocking punk soda. Shocking punk soda. And these look very Instagrammable. But also a bit like, not the healthiest. No. I mean, we're eating ice cream, it's not gonna be the healthiest, but these look particularly sort of... Bad for your insides. Bad, bad. Oh, it's like a... It's Ooh. a perfect. Oh, I've mine like, isn't. I've peeled. Oh, it, it is. I've peeled off this label at the top, and it's got like a, a sort of slushy hole that you can. Hmm. Do, do you drink it? Oh no! What it says it? to put it in the microwave for one minute ten. We'll be right back. We were actually a bit stupid. The lady did put these <laughs> straws in with our bag, and we didn't realise. They're still cold. It's not hot. But, um, <laughs> smash it around a bit. Oh baby, rock choco. Shock and punk soda. It's pretty horrendous. This is like a drink you would give to an eight year old girl. That's why it's got yawn, yawnicorns. <laughs> Unicorns all over it. That's why it's pink and blue. I mean, I was stupid. <sighs> this is so gross. It's like, Bubble gum. Wait, it says it's soda flavored, but it's not. It's like bubble gum and like. If you like this as an adult, sort, you, sort yourself out. <laughs> can feel my health deteriorating as I drink this. It's so sweet that I actually can't drink it, and I like sweet things. Try some of this. <laughs> Try some of the the girl or like unicorn blood. This has like loads of crunchy bits in that are gross. Oh, that is horrible. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, shocking punk soda. Yeah, it's shocking how bad it is. God, that is... <laughs> this is atrocious. Terrible. And I like a slushy, but this is gross. <laughs> so, obviously, we're not rating that good. That was... that sucked. To one. Yeah, I, I, well, to it's a zero, star. actually, for me. A zero? Yeah, I'm not having... like, that was gross. I would never buy it again. Ooh. Not a fan. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed us not enjoying <laughs> all, these ice creams. all these ice creams. Let us know in the comments which one you thought you would like the most and which one you would like the least. And if you live in Japan, please give us your recommendations of which ice cream you like, which one's your go-to. Yeah, which ones should we try? Let us know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed, like the video and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our future content. Yeah, we will see you again next Friday at 7 p.m. Japan time. Japan time. We'll see you then. Goodbye. See you. Bye. Don't do that.